Hello, welcome to the show. My name is Andy Graham. And this is my show, in case you didn't know. Before we get started, I'm going to ask you to please click on the little icon at the bottom right of the screen and please subscribe to my channel and please leave positive comments. Your subscribership is definitely wanted and needed. Tonight I want to talk to you a little bit about what I was thinking about today and the topic I was thinking about is DC. Why are you competing against your big brother Marvel in the same month? To me that makes no sense. Um, I know it's good to be competitive. I'm not telling you not to be competitive, but you're playing catch up. Um, to me it makes no sense to hurt your money um, going up against that juggernaut which is Marvel. Now, I was looking today online and I saw that in April, three comic book movies are coming out. And before I go any further, I want to say that I am a big, 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 huge fan of comic book movies. I read comic books ever since I was a little boy. Now I'm almost 50 years old. So I've been reading it. I got a little background in the comics and I like it. Um, out of the 21, I've seen all 21 movies that Marvel has made. I've seen all the DC movies. And I'm just a fan of overall comic books. Um, and I love the comic book movies. I'm very glad and finally happy to see that special effects and new techniques and the green screen and all the different things that they can do has caught up. Because I can remember watching the live action Spider-Man, the live action Hulk in the 80s, and the live action, there's even a live action Doctor Strange, something you need to look up online. Um, it came back in the late 70s. It's supposed to be a TV show. But for whatever reason, um, it didn't make the cut. But there is a movie, a live action Doctor Strange. And um, you need to check that out. That's really um, see, just to see how far technology has come. Because um, when I was a little boy, it was, it was fantastic. But now I watch it as a grown man, I can like, wow, this is really, really crazy. But um, to go on with what I was saying about, I don't understand why DC is even competing with Marvel in the same month. Um, April, if I'm not mistaken, the first movie, April the 5th, is when Shazam comes out. And the Shazam is coming out, is my understanding, is going to be PG-13. It's going to be tailored to more kids, more family-oriented, which is good. I'm not um, disputing that, but I'm used to the more, a little more adult version of Billy Batson, not the child version. Um, I know that's where it originated as in the comic books. But um, if you remember the live action Shazam, Billy Batson was more of a teenager, um, more of a young man. And I kind of like that take on it. Um, not the special effects, but that take that he was a little bit older, a little bit more wiser, and not so gullible. Because sometimes that child, little boy, um, attitude and his maturity level transfers over into Shazam, which I'm sure we're going to see in this movie. It's going to make party for some good comedy and some, but in some it's going to be like, really? Uh, he's a grown man doing this childish stuff. So that's just my little um, gripe with it. Um, but I'm sure it's going to be worthwhile seeing. Um, I don't know how, how much money it's going to make. I don't know what it's even projected. Um, but I do know, I think whatever it could have made, it, had it been in a different month than Endgame, I think that's going to hurt it. Because it's going to have three weeks to really make the money it's going to make. Because April 26th, when Endgame comes out, that's going to be the, yeah, the, end, the end of Shazam. As far as its profit, um, making profits, being profitable. Um, because Endgame, um, from what I'm reading, from what I'm seeing on online, on YouTube, on different social media, it's a talk, it's a buzz. Everybody is eager to see it. Everybody has theories as to what's going to go on. Everybody has this person's going to get killed. This person's going to make it. This person's going to do this. This person's going to do that. We all don't know, but we're just eager, very eager to see. Um, another thing that's going to hurt um, Shazam's money, too, is Hellboy. Um, that's coming out the Friday after. I think um, Shazam comes out on April the 5th. Hellboy comes out on April the 12th, the following Friday. I don't know if it's going to hurt it that bad. Not sure if the following for Hellboy, which is a um, is a comic book based off a graphic novel. I don't know how strong that following is versus the following of DC fans and Shazam fans. Um, it's my understanding through reading and talking to other people that Shazam is a very popular character. So uh, it may be another um, pleasant surprise like Aquaman was. 
They'd be another pleasant surprise like um, Venom was. Um, um, all you remember that a lot of people were saying that Venom was going to be crappy, Venom was going to be this. Um, because it wasn't associated with Spider-Man, it was kind of independent. But Venom came out being very profitable. In fact, I went to it, I saw it twice. Yeah, I even bought the, the Blu-ray. So I, I enjoyed it very much. So um, my take on it was maybe that they could explain us being on an alternate Earth. We never know. Um, this doesn't have to be our Earth, which we're accustomed to Venom being associated with Spider-Man, but it could have been on an alternate Earth. Um, you never know how the director is going to vision something or see something. And just because it's not true to comic books, we shouldn't already go. We shouldn't already have the attitude or the mindset that look that they didn't want like that in the comic books. I know we all guilty of saying it. I have said it sometimes, but sometimes the stuff that they do in movies is better than what's in the comic books, or has a better explanation, or leads to a different point that we never thought about just because the blueprint was the comic book. So you gotta kind of let the director and the actors kind of interpret things in their own way. And I bet you, or probably more than likely, you probably will like it. There's always going to be some people that don't like it. But for the most part, I think people are going to like it. Um, again, just kind of want some questioning in my mind. Why DC? Why? Why are you going to compete against them? Don't understand it, but that's your choice. Um, as far as it relates to the next phase, what my um, research is telling me that their Marvel is currently working um, on six different movies. Those movies being, I know they're working on second Black Panther, Black Panther, Black Panther 2. And from what I've heard from a recent interview with Angela Bassett and her and her husband is that Michael B. Jordan is going to be back. So, um, if you remember, we thought that he died on that cliff talking to uh, Black Panther. But all we saw him was pull the spear out of his chest we don't know whether or not um, Black Panther put one of those magic beads like he did in the agents back into that wound and was able to stabilize him and get him back to Sherry. And she put him in one of those tubes like she did the Winter Soldier. We don't know whether or not that happened. We never saw that. We never saw a funeral. We never heard them say anything about Killmonger being dead or anything else. So they could bring him back. Also, we don't know what properties that heart shape. Uh, fruit has too as far as healing properties because um, like I said we never saw Killmonger officially dead all we saw him did was pull out spear and slump over we don't know whether he just passed out we don't know what we don't know what so he could be back also a second movie I heard they're working on is Black Widow um, I've heard that's going to be about um, when Black Widow first went through I think it's called the red program or the red door program basically when she was training or when she was programmed and trained from a little girl to a young adult on the art of assassination different fighting styles um, weapons espionage all aspects of the spy world she was trained on it now from what I read today is that in the comic book she befriended a little girl who was the headmaster's daughter but the headmaster's daughter wasn't quite as strong as Natasha's. So as Natasha progressed, the other girl, she kind of slacked off. And Natasha closed her feelings off to her. And eventually she graduated went on her first mission. Well, fast forward until a few years later, Natasha's already defected to our side and working for S.H.I.E.L.D. This girl went through the program and now she's a killer and she's just as bad as Natasha. And I think her code name is Recluse, like the brown recluse. Um, spider so I was reading that reading that um, they named her Natasha's Black Widow and they named her the Recluse Spider because they're two of the poisonous spiders in the North American continent just reading that don't know how true that is but a little bit I read I just want to pass it on to you next movie I heard they're going to do too is uh, Doctor Strange 2 uh, I'm not sure whether or not this is going to be continuation of um, if you know the first one Mordo, um, the guy that was training him, the, the black sorcerer, was disheartened and just kind of fell out of doing good because he found out that the Ancient One was actually stealing some of the bad guy's energy and power and knowledge to stay alive. 
and you felt like that was wrong because she always taught them that that was forbidden to use that type of evil magic. But she justified it by she was trying to keep in check, trying to stay young enough and, and strong enough to fight the evil. Don't know if that's going to be the uh, theme or the premise of that movie, but it's just a possibility. Also, and uh, if you watch the uh, the cartoon version, the animated version, um, Mordo was always jealous of Doctor Strange because he felt like he should have been the next Sorcerer Supreme when the Ancient passed and not Doctor Strange. So that may be a possible plot too for the next movie. Uh, next one is The Eternals. Never, uh, I've heard of them before. Never read the comics. We really don't know anything about them. Um, be eager to see that, learn more about it. I'll do more research on those and try and educate myself better so I can pass it on to you. Um, I also hear they're going to do Guardians of the Galaxy 3. Please tell me why. Um, if you watch my video where I, I rank the worst to the best um, 21 Marvel movies, I rank them pretty low because I've never been a fan of Guardians of the Galaxy. I never read the comic books. I just learned about them basically whenever they came out on the movie. Um, not a fan of Star Lord. None of that um, group. Don't understand that. They say it's the same word over and over and over. It makes no sense to me. Um, just not my cup of tea. If you like it, you like it. I just not my cup of tea. Um, and last one is going to be a movie called Shane Chi. And that's going to be um, an Asian um, karate master. I'm thinking maybe something like Iron Fist. I'm not certain. Um, never read the comic book. Um, just something I read on an article today. These are the six movies that they have in development. Um, I think it's smart that they're going to broaden their their um their fan base make it more diverse i think that's a good thing um and i think that um marvel if they keep up the formula they're doing now is going to be around for a long time so um, that's again um i'll say in closing don't understand dc why 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 are you doing this um you're only hurting yourself but being a fan of comic books i will definitely see all three i will see Shazam, Hellboy, and of course Endgame. So again, thanks for supporting my channel. Please subscribe. Please leave back favorable comments. Um, please have any questions, please send them to me. Um, I like to answer them as best I can. And I also like to have material that you'd be interested in watching. Thanks again. Have a good night. See you next time.